Howdy do! In the next 36 hours, I'm gonna be editing and uploading two announcement videos. Do a food photo shoot at one of my mom's favorite restaurants in my hometown. Go to my friend's wedding and do another photo shoot. And then film, edit, and upload a daily vlog. So, so that's kind of a lot for 36 hours. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm going to. If you can't change a deadline, you have to change yourself. You have to adapt. You have to woman up. And the thing is, yes, I have the option to stress out and be like, oh my god, I'm freaking out. However, when I have a lot on my plate, I always remind myself, I had the choice to say no, but I wanted to say yes. So even if I want to say yes, sometimes I have to say no, but in the next 36 hours, these are all things I want to do. There's no point in stressing because there are things I want to do, and I just have to figure a way out to make it work. And you know what? With life, you need a little challenge to keep growing and to keep you pumped. And yesterday I was up editing some videos so I got a little less sleep and I have a little bit of baggies down here under my eye. I have my tea, which I drink out of my measuring cup. I used to boil my tea but when I'm on the go, I just like to microwave my water and make it hot. So I was using other cups, like nice ones, but my mom was like, you have to use a measuring cup, the glass cup, to heat the water in the micro oven. And I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna make more dishes to wash. I might as well just use this to heat my water and to drink from it. For today's tea, I mix black tea with a minty green tea. I usually don't like minty green tea, but I have a packet of it, so I gotta use it. I'm not gonna let it go to waste, nor am I gonna just let it sit around and do nothing, taking up space. So I mixed it with my black tea and I enjoy it more like that. Oh, and you might have noticed behind me, uh, these are my calligraphy practice sheets. Uh, hopefully I don't have anything personal written on there. I don't think there's anything rated R, so it should be fine. I know you probably noticed that I like to film in corners. Well, this is because my room is a mess, and my room is not decorated the way I want it to be. I just have a bunch of old furniture from high school laying around. Um, you know, I was living in LA for a while, I had new furniture there, and then I moved to Asia, and I didn't have furniture, I was just like living out of my suitcase. But I came back to my hometown, and I have all this old stuff laying around and I'm gonna be traveling again so I don't want to invest all my money into new furniture like stuff I'm trying to live a minimal life I just want to use my money towards making more videos uh, for traveling and you know like building experiences in life I like to own things where even if I throw it away or donate it, it's not gonna make me feel like, oh, I don't wanna let go of that. So right now I'm at Target. I gotta pick up some white linens for the food photo shoot before I head over there. Here it is. I saw on the restaurant website they had some photos using white linen. I'm gonna try shooting on their kind of glossy table surface as well and compare how the photos turn out. So I made it to Jerusalem Grill. Every day they have lunch buffet and some of the people here are still hanging out and having their lunch, enjoying their falafel. Yeah, and I'm just setting up right now. I brought my softbox. So I'm looking at the table surface here. Uh, it's quite glossy and there are some scratches. So I think I will be using the white linen for sure. So while I was filming this vlog, there was a lady who started posing and she's like, are you taking photos of me? And at first I was scared. I was like, oh no, I'm not taking photos of you, so don't hurt me, please. But she loves to be in this vlog, so she's gonna pose for us in just a bit. Woohoo! You do your thing! Oh, she got some groove! Look at her! Woo! You go, girl! I'm the owner of Jerusalem Miguel and I'm excited for the photo shoot. Thank you, Mina. Woo! I'm excited too. Thanks. So we ironed half of the linen cloth and we don't really need that side. Uh, we're only going to be taking single shots, like one shot per dish. So uh, we don't need to iron the whole thing. That's called being efficient. If we wanted five dishes in one image, then I would iron the whole thing. So now I'm waiting for the dishes to come in one by one and a lot of the customers have left. So I don't think I'll be intruding too much on their dining experience, thankfully. What I'm doing right now while I'm waiting, I set up my composition. So in the frame, you can see the edge of the table. So I'm just gonna zoom into that. If you look in the frame closely, this area, it shows wrinkles. So I'm gonna zoom into the area where it has no wrinkles. Actually, while I'm waiting for the dishes to come out, I might just go ahead and iron out the rest of the linen cloth. Just in case like if food spills on the iron part, then at least I can move the tablecloth around and then you know rotate it for a clean area. Oh, thank you! Perfect!
Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and shoot when there's empty spots of time, then I'll iron out the rest of the cloth. So it is such a tease to be surrounded by all this delicious food. So we just finished the whole photo shoot and I'm gonna be taking these food to go thanks to the generosity of Honey. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We love you. I love you and especially the food. <laughs> This is my hair after a food photo shoot. I don't know why, but I just love taking photos of food. Some people may be like, oh, it's just food. It's just a thing sitting there waiting for you. But if you think about it, food is fuel. Food is what keeps us alive. It's something very beautiful that we sometimes take granted. For those of us who are fortunate enough to have food every day, you know, we don't realize like, wow, there's food in front of us. We don't get super excited for every meal. But if you're born and raised in a place where food is hard to come by, every time you look at food, you'll be excited. So I just got home and I am uploading all the photos on my computer so I could edit them. And ah, oh, they're looking pretty good already. These aren't edited just yet. I can't believe that food is sitting in my kitchen right now. I'm waiting for my mom to come home so I can eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. While those photos are loading, I'm gonna meditate for 15 minutes. I didn't sleep much last night and my eyes are kind of dying on me. So I'm gonna just um, not think about anything and just focus on breathing and refresh myself. I'm gonna edit my food photos now and I hope this food feels like respected, that I have taken the photos well. And yes, food may not have feelings or may not have thoughts but who knows? Maybe food has spirits in it. So respect your food. You never know. Maybe you'll be born as a grilled hummus the next lifetime. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I tried this eggplant. It is so good. It's like, it's tangy. Mm. Tangy, 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 tangy. I'm eating the Jerusalem grill food as I edit that food. I edit my photos in Lightroom. Round two. I'm eating my food on a small plate because if I have a big plate, then I end up, you know, putting too much food on it and overeating. Someone once told me that you live longer by eating a little less as opposed to eating too much. Perhaps because your body isn't working as hard to digest all the food. I finished editing all the photos. Time to edit an announcement video for Sweet and Tasty TV! This one comes out next Friday! Who's that? So for the rest of the night, I'm gonna edit some of this vlog and then upload it tomorrow morning! And I'm gonna catch up on some sleep because I didn't get a lot last night. And tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Bye bye!